Bring it up, guys, bring it up. The first time that I read about Hodgkin's, um, I looked at all my symptoms and my ear, nose, and throat doctor, this was years ago, said, well, it's probably one of four things. And she told me what the four things are and Hodgkin's was one of them. And I just knew, man, that's, that's exactly what I have. My situation is an ongoing um, fight with cancer. I've had cancer since 2010, diagnosed in 2011, um, done several different treatments. Did 12 treatments of one cycle, didn't work. Did eight of another cycle, plus a transplant, plus high dose chemo, then it didn't work. So now I'm going back for the same type of high dose chemo and a transplant from a donor, that's the plan. I get mad at myself because I can't do some of the things that I used to do. I do find myself really happy uh, when I coach. Um, obviously, nothing makes me happier than my family, my son and my wife. But if I'm, well, if you're gonna do something in life, I'd love being a football coach. I just, you know, it's been like, like a fish to water. It's just been a challenge for me. It's been tough, but it's also been very rewarding and gratifying. So I just feel like that's what I, makes me feel alive. Um, mentally, as a coach, you got to be positive and you got to be very resilient. And there's sometimes where I just don't feel very good. So you can't go out there and just say, hey guys, I don't feel good today, so let's not have a good practice. So you gotta find a way to fake it till you make it and, and get yourself going. So that's one thing that coaching has helped me is it's made me much more positive and it's made me do something instead of just sitting there feeling sorry for myself. It is a struggle to get better. Okay, we have struggled to start off the season, but we are gonna get better. Family on me, family on three, one, two, three. Family! Let's load. Woo, let's go. Where's he going, baby?